Hi, my name is Carissa and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing College Life Let's Play Part 1. In this Let's Play, we're going to have Athena here, who is a teen, and she's going to get her skills up in mischief and a couple other things so that she can go to the university and major in villainy because she is evil, as you can see uh, here. She's evil and romantic, so I want to try and do the thing they added to Discover University where you can get have a relationship with your professor and then convince them to give you a good grade, which I think is going to be hilarious. And her aspiration is the new one that came with Discover University. She wants to attend university and get a job, but most importantly, learn. So we're going to do that. And the other Sims, we have her dad here. I can get to his face. Where is he? Where are you? Jonathan. Jonathan is a nerd brain, so he's a smart guy. He likes reading and logic. And his traits are good, family-oriented, and snob. And... He is a doctor, and I had him become a doctor so the storyline could be that she came from like a wealthy, successful family, and then she goes off to be evil and do it her own way. I think it's going to be really cool. And over here, we have the mom. Her name is, what's her name? Juliana, but she is a substitute teacher. She has the traits of snob as well, and good, just like the her husband. And she's a bookworm, so she's like an English teacher, and she's super into reading, and she just wants her kid to be a good kid, but turns out she's evil. So we're gonna see how that goes. Look at her face of evil, so cute. And I put them in this house I made. It's on my origin, you can download it. I did change it a little bit so the rooms fit with the Sims themselves more. Just get a quick outside view of it. Not much, that painting, ignore that, that's someone else's painting. <laughs> and then I'll give a quick house tour. The welcome wagon has arrived. I hate when that happens, it's so annoying, okay. So we're going to go into camera mode here so I can give you a quick tour. When you walk in, you have the dining room. It's kind of like an industrial themed house, but for a family. If you go here, we have the office where the mom is. Hello. And then in here is the bathroom. Just your simple bathroom. Here we have the kitchen. It's a little dark in here because I have the auto lights on, but you can kind of tell. And over here, <clears throat> living room, giant TV, stairs using the cool new stair update. Well, it's not new anymore, but to me it's still pretty cool and new. Let's go upstairs. In this hallway we have the uh, main ba bathroom upstairs. This is gonna be Athena's room. I made it pink and girly because that's her thing. And I put like these little lights and everything. And since she's spoiled, she has her own balcony where she can like paint or do whatever she wants to do. And then over here is the parents' room where they have their own computer, their closet, oops. And they have a balcony too, but I haven't put anything on theirs yet. And then over here is just like a guest room or if the parents have another kid or adopt a kid or something. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I could make it into like a skills room for Athena so that she can work on things. But I think she can just... So she, I had her do her homework, so she has that done, but she does need to get one of her skills to level two. Right now, the only skill she has is Charisma, which I think Charisma would be helpful for being evil. So I'm going to have her practice her speech so that she can become 
the most convincing evil person you've ever met. Drink and while she's doing baby. that, I'm gonna explain the uh. mods that I use so that some of these moodlets and events that happen make more sense. So, I use <clears throat> MC Command Center, which is a mod that gives you more control over your game, and it helps add realism to the game. This is the one of the main menus for it. Actually, the main main menu is on the computer, so let me pull that up. You can do career, change like career stuff, you can have it so teens and kids can quit school, you can change outfits, there's settings for story progression, it's just a really good, helpful mod, and I love having it in my game, and I cannot live without it, so if you want to check it out, just go to Google MC Command Center and you'll find it on Tumblr, or I'm not sure where else, I always get mine on Tumblr, I think. And then I also have a mod that I just recently got called Slice of Life. Bluey. And that has through, yeah. all sorts of like, realism Azeez. settings Zeta that make Garza. the game Web. more like real life. So you, there's like <laughs> acne, so you can get Scottish daily Scottish treatments, Scottish weekly Scottish. treatments, stuff like that. Or you can just be acne free, which I'm going to do that just for the sake of her being like in college and probably not Kwa having that boo. much money, so. <laughs> and then we have, they can like change, go shopping, buy wigs, like there's all sorts of interesting Find stuff in this mod that I'm not actually familiar with yet, so I'm gonna figure it out as we go. What is, what is he doing? Oh my gosh, her dad is trolling the forums. You're not the evil one, Jonathan. Stop it. What are you doing? You're supposed to be good. <sighs> what is happening? This, see, this is why she's so messed up. She's surrounded by these people doing things that conflict with their traits. I think these guys are trying to get in. Oh, there it is. Welcome, wagon. I'm gonna have the mom introduce herself to the neighbors because I feel like she would be the one to do that because she's like nice and fun and happy and her daughter would just be like get away from me I want nothing to do with them and their fruitcake okay here we go Let's see if sometimes you can get a sim that likes fruitcake I've actually had it happen once so it's pretty rare but we're gonna see how the mom feels about fruitcake and I'm gonna have her talk to this guy Oh, I hope you like the fruitcake. I highly doubt she will. I don't know yet. We'll see. Sometimes when you have them eat the fruitcake, they get uncomfortable because they hate it so much. Oh my gosh. She likes it! Yes! That never happens. I've only had one sim in like five years of playing this game who likes it. That is so hilarious. And I don't like how she seems to be flirting with this guy, but maybe she's just really interested in the fruitcake, so she's so impressed that she's like, you know what, I like you. I like you, how you say your name. Hey, level two! Alright, so let's have her meet some of the neighbors too, because I want her to have like... Is this guy a teen? Maybe a young adult. I want her to have like friends so that when she gets to college, we can throw a keg party. And I know she'll meet people in college too because I'm going to have her live in one of the dorms. I don't know which one yet. If you want her to go into. I think. I want to say Brightchester is the one with the distinguished ability degree, so I feel like that would be the best bet. But let me know if she should go to Foxbury or Brightchester, and if she should live in a dorm or in student housing. I think the dorms are more chaotic, which could be more fun, and she could have more people to be able to. Ah. She's relaxed. <laughs> dag, dag. Oh, so Slice of Life attaches oh, a personality it. type to people in The Sims. And it looks like she has ISTP. She's a craftsman. So she's bold and practical. 
She masters tools. Tob hobbies she may like would be magic, comedy, archery, weaponry, hunting, scuba diving, etc., etc., etc. She's drawn to risky or thrilling activities. Okay, so maybe we could have her do robotics and she could like create an evil robot to do her like. I don't know, her evil stuff, like a henchman or a henchwoman of some sort. It's evil. Neebs, I'll try. Try. Blows it. And I'm gonna have her be mischievous to this guy because I want her to be really good at mischief so she can be like super evil. Which I think this is her evil train. Okay, so every time she's in the room with her parents, this will probably show up because both of her parents are good and it upsets her to be around people who are good because she's evil. So that could be interesting. Maybe we'll have her like argue with them in the gym. <laughs> Leading up to her going to university. Hey, mischief skill. And he liked it. I always think it's so weird how the Sims, like, they consider mischief, um, like, interactions to be positive. And I feel like tricking someone with a hand buzzer isn't super positive. Rebaza. All right, so now this is he still trolling the fo bro? Stop! You need to socialize. What are you doing? Go have some fruitcake. Maybe he likes it too. Ooh, I wonder if she likes it. Maybe it runs in the family. Let's see. Fine, do it, do it. Your mom's a weirdo who likes it too. So Nope, was there really any fruit in that game? Oh, it doesn't matter, it, it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gross! I've actually never had fruit cake, but I've seen like, how they make it, and it looks so. Right, take some. Yeah, so nice. right. <laughs> Everyone's in the way. Yeah. There we go. Let's see if she likes it. She doesn't seem to mind. Oh! Oh, she Dark hates it. How does the dad feel? He likes it. Why do both so the parents strong. like it? Maybe if you're good, a good sim, you like it. And if you're a evil sim, you hate it. <laughs> that is so rare. That is crazy. Oh, I'm sorry I made her eat that. You can stop eating that. So, right now, YouTube will only let me upload a video that's 15 minutes long at most. So this part is probably going to be pretty short. And I know all we, <clears throat> all we really got to do was get her charisma to level like down to have her acquire the mischief skills. But I can make a second part. And that one will be 15 minutes as well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record directly after this one so that I can have it to upload right away. So I'm going to leave this one here to make sure I have enough time. And I will start doing the next one right now. So this is part one of College Life Let's Play where we're going to build up her skills. She's going to get really good at being evil, mischievous, and after a few episodes of her getting really good at those things, as well, obviously, we're going to have her apply and we're going to be at the university. I don't know which one yet, but it's going to be awesome. Thank you for watching part one. And don't forget to go look at part two. It should be up very soon after this. Bye.